So we have made animations in our application before. Uh, we have animated the movement of bottles on a conveyor band. But this time I will show you a different method to create animations. So how do we do that? Uh, we can create animations by using the images on our system. So let's go to the text and graphic lists section. So we need to add the images that we will use in our animation. We have already um, showed these to you. So the list name uh, should be our company name, PLC Watch and Learn. It is writing in Turkish. And now let me add the images that I wish to use in the graphic list. I will um, assign a number for the images that I will see, starting with zero. So I can upload the images from my computer. I can upload the images from my computer or use the ones from the graphics list. So the images I will not use are these ones. Uh, there are arrow marks below the graphic list section. I want to create an animation with these arrow marks. So look, I have clicked on this. Uh, so this is the first image I will use. And let me select the second. I will have this one. So um, the third image that I will use is the arrow mark pointing left. I have selected it and and the fourth image for the fourth image um, the fourth image will be the arrow mark pointing up. We had a logo so if I could find it we will use it. I think um, this was it. For example uh, Siemens has its own logo here. Uh, you can use different images here too. As I said, you may upload your own images too. Let's use um, Siemens's own logo. Uh, we have picked these. After selecting that, we will go to the animation screen. And from the elements section, we will add a graphic input output field. After selecting that, we will go to the animation screen. And from the elements section, we will add a graphic input output field. So by selecting this, you can adjust the dimensions of that easily. In the end, imagination is important here. So we are at the properties section and I have to select the graphic list that I will use and set the tag parameters of the graphic IO field, input output field. So I have clicked on the graphic list and I have selected the images. What is important here is the order of the images that I will use. So you have to arrange them accordingly. After that I have to make the tag connections. That is what I will do here. Uh, let me create an animation tag. I want to use this animation tag without adding any value. So I will name the tag that I will create animation. Data type should be a INT. Connection type internet tag. And just like that, my work is done. I will um, close it and I will click on an empty spot. Now I will make a right click. After clicking on an empty spot, I will go to the events section and I will add a function tab from loaded section and below system functions is other functions. And here I mark the simulate tag box. So after marking it, um, it says input output tag. This is my animation tag, so I've selected it. Cycle is the section um, which shows the transition time of each. 
the images that we could use uh, range from 0 to 100 and we have got 5 images here from 0 to 4 um, if I do that it will show the images in accordance with cycle speed there so what will it do? it will turn the images that we placed and show the Siemens logo so let's do the animation like this uh, we can shrink or enlarge this and use it in any size of the screen use it in any side of the screen uh, if you wish to see an animation at start you have to go to the opening page and place it there so our start screen was root screen and when you select your page and arrange it you can see this animation on the opening page I will put the system into run mode I have selected internal tag here I am waiting and not assigning any value. When I select online simulator with tag simulator, I am expecting this to start. So I will click OK. And as you can see, the animation is working, independent from any value. I have selected my internal tag as the animation. As we said, uh, this is up to your imagination. You can create any kind of animation by uploading images and objects. So you can create animations by moving the images, both vertically, vertically and horizontally. The user's ability to create images is needed here. So we have created an animation.